So now we know how to render simple, very simple meshes. And I'd like to uh, introduce to you a problem of scale. Each, each triangle has an X, a Y, and a Z coordinate. And then you have A, B, and C for the three vertices in your triangle. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine floats. And then that's just one triangle. We have actually tens of thousands, maybe maybe even hundreds of thousands of triangles in a scene. So you have this triangle, you have the next triangle, you put them all in a big array, you can quickly see that this gets to be a lot of information. So let's take a look at how we how we render these triangles. We do a draw loop where each time in the loop we this is what we were doing in the in the previous video. We were creating the mesh, create the mesh, and then pass it to the video card, pass to the graphics library in order to render it. And then we end the loop. So that's actually kind of I mean you can see as slow creating all of this data every single time we want to render a frame that can get a little unwieldy so here's what we do instead we're going to take this create mesh step pull it out of the draw loop let's try this again in our initialization as we're loading up the game that's when we create the mesh we create the mesh first thing create mesh and then we pass the mesh into the graphics library pass to graphics library but it doesn't get rendered it just sits there on the video card now later when we do our draw loop draw loop all we have to say is render render the mesh render the mesh that we previously passed to it and that way this data doesn't have to go back and forth from the CPU to the video card every single frame all the triangles are sitting in the video card and all you're telling it is hey remember those triangles I told you about before render them now in this position with these effects on them or what have you so we're now we're gonna go to the code and see how all that gets set up so okay so here we have a vector of vectors a vector of vectors which is like huh Unfortunately, these two things got the same name. This is a vector that we've been studying so far. We know what it is, x, y, z. This vector is like a resizable array, a resizable array. Uh, and I'm gonna use it to store, and there's a, there's a reason that I'm doing this. Instead of just an array, I'm using it to store all the points. So it's just an array, it's resizable. You push things onto it, and it's like a stack of plates. You push things onto the top. So we're going to push all of our vectors onto this vector of vectors. <laughs> and then, so now we are going to, now that we have it internally in the memory, this is going to be the exact same as our array as before. It's the exact same data, it's just, just different, um, different syntax. So we're going to load the vertex data into the graphics library that's what that's what it says okay I can reload vertex data into graphics library that's what we're doing what is the size in bytes well it's the size of our of our vector times the size of each item in the vector and then we have to pass it the actual data there it is so now this load ver vertex data into GL will return for us a handle, which I have to store somehow. And I'm gonna store it in this billboard vertex buffer variable. There it is, billboard vertex buffer. So we can handle it later. And now, now that that's done, we can clear it away, we can clear this vector we can empty it get rid of the memory throw it out we don't need it anymore because the data is now loaded into the graphics library it's loaded into the video card we don't need it here in main memory 
So it might seem kind of weird that we're clearing out this memory. We're like, oh, we need, we need these triangles here to render them. But actually we don't because they're in the video card now. And we can clear them out of main memory. So let's go up to the draw function where we were before. Where was that? Is it? One second. No, I missed it. Yes, here it is, the draw function. So this is what we had before, begin render vertex array, except we moved, we moved our actual array of points to the video card. So instead of, instead of passing it that same array of points, we're now going to pass it the billboard vertex buffer that we set up. We still have that handle around, and we're just going to pass that in instead. Set position buffer. We can't pass it the pointer to the memory of the vertices anymore. So now we just pass it an offset, an offset in our memory to where the positions start. Right now we only have positions, so we're just going to give it zero. But we'll see later how these uh, these set position buffer and other similar functions can allow us a lot of flexibility. So let's run it. And if everything works properly, it should be really boring. All we have is the same exact thing that we had before. And there it is, there's our, our red square. But now we can draw tens of thousands of identical red squares or tens of thousands of triangles in general with very little bandwidth requirements. We can do, very, we can do it very quickly. So that wraps it up for this video. I'll see you next time.